Hey guys, Mitch here from Lake Library. And this month, the world lost one of the true icons and individual voices of the electric guitar in Mr. Jeff Beck. And where do you start really? Jeff's playing is so inspirational and really almost impossible to imitate. Uh, he really is a, a, an individual voice of the instrument. But I thought the best thing to do in a situation like this is to draw inspiration and celebrate the man's legacy in that fantastic guitar playing. So join me today where we're going to look at some of Jeff's most iconic moments throughout his career. Everything I'm going to be talking about and we're going to be looking at is going to be time stamped in the video. So without further ado, let's check them out. All right, first up is this song called Stroll On from the 1966 film Blow Up, which is an interesting film, but uh, this live performance is much more interesting for me. Uh, it's 1966, as I say, he's with the Yardbirds, he's on stage with Jimmy Page. Let's see what happens. <laughs> You can hear there instantly that he's pushing the amp so hard that it's starting to give out and that it's like a really saturated fuzzy sound from an AC-30 man. Now you hear there how much thinner the guitar sounds once he drops out and you just hear the other, the other guitar being played by Jimmy Page. And this is 1966, man. Like, how is he getting those sounds? True pioneer. Let's check it out. That's one way to fix it, Jeff. I absolutely love that. For two reasons. Because, one, I think it's obvious that even though it's a uh, performance that's integrated into a film, that seems like genuine anger at the fact that the amp is breaking up and sort of letting out on him at a time when they are recording something important. And I think you can really tell his frustration there. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> it's gonna stop it there we can see what's about to happen but this is before Hendrix live at Monterey you know this is this is mid 60s um pretty out there pretty rock and roll to say the very very least give him a song again <laughs> I mean can you really get any better than that it's it's fantastic it's fantastic, but I love what he finishes this whole display with. And really that's what this is. It's a display of him for me saying, get used to it. I'm not like I'm not like all the other guitar players. Uh, and I think it's a true indication of his individuality coming to play early on in his career. All right, next up, Cause We've Ended as Lovers. Now, this one I'm taking is from the Crossroads Festival because... How iconic is it to perform this song the way in which Jeff does at the biggest guitar or guitarist festival in the world? Now, this song is a song that was written by Stevie Wonder, originally intended for his wife, but was given to Jeff Beck as an apology for Stevie Wonder releasing Superstition himself under the insistence of Motown Records. And it's hard to imagine this song fallen in anybody else's hands other than Jeff. And I'm so glad it did because it's a masterful execution of taking a simple melody and using those microtonal nuances and the manipulation that Jeff put into his guitar playing to create just this hauntingly beautiful sound. Let's check it out. Good. 
honestly, to try and play like that is one thing. Um, to, but to really get it to sound like that and leave the space that he does and hit all those microtonal ideas in those right places is an art form, truly. It really is. And it's a perfect example of how hard this man's style is to imitate. He is just out of this world. Let's listen to a little more of this iconic performance. <laughs> All right, last up is Where Were You from Live at Ronnie Scott's. And I think this really just sort of sums up everything about Jeff's artistic vision for the guitar and that very individual voice. Uh, and what a way to end such a legendary performance as well. Uh, it's just one of the best. Let's check it out. Right. I mean, to do that without a whammy bar would be hard enough. Um, but to do that with that kind of control and that vocal like sort of almost cry, the the way the way in which he manipulates the, the microtonal qualities of the notes there, it's almost like he's playing pain. Like for me, it just it's it's so hard to to replicate in that way. Uh, it's amazing. Let's check it out. Such a beautiful melody. Gain volume control. Harmonics. <laughs> oh man. Really, there's nobody who can do that like that. And that's for me why he'll always be one of the most iconic guitar players. Uh, not just at one point in his career, but for his entire career. And uh, thank you, Jeff, for the mark you've left on the world of electric guitar. Let's play this one out. So there we go, this is Jeff Beck. Thank you for joining me and watching those iconic moments. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then be sure to like and subscribe to the channel where you can check out more videos like this, as well as instructional videos and all kinds of playthroughs. But don't forget to head over to licklibrary.com where you can get all these things as part of your membership, as well as one-to-one -one support. So until next time, all the best and take care.